Low-level laser therapy has become increasingly popular in chiropractic and physical therapy offices. But does it really work? And is there a more convenient way that you can do it at home? In this video, I'll share what conditions low-level laser therapy is for and how you can do it at home. Now, first of all, what is low-level laser therapy? Well, it goes by several different names. One of them is red light therapy or photobiomodulation. All that basically means is it uses certain wavelengths of light to influence the way that your tissues act. And the primary way that red light therapy or low-level laser therapy is thought to act is by increasing the ability of your mitochondria, the powerhouses of your body, to produce energy. Red light and infrared light on the wavelengths of 600 to 1000 nanometers stimulates something known as cytochrome C oxidase, and that causes your mitochondria to produce more energy or ATP. That has a variety of benefits, including increased metabolism that can help with weight loss in certain conditions. It is also very good for promoting tissue healing. Additionally, Red light therapy or low-level laser therapy causes an increase in nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. That means you get more blood flow and oxygen to your tissues, again, which helps with tissue healing. Low-level laser therapy can help decrease inflammation. It decreases inflammatory mediators such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-6, and increases anti-inflammatory mediators such as interleukin-10. Additionally, it can help stimulate opioid receptors, which helps with pain control. Now, as far as conditions that low-level laser therapy is good for, it's good for a variety of musculoskeletal conditions, including sprains and strains, tendinopathies, low back pain, neck pain. It's particularly good for neuropathy and a variety of other skin conditions, for example, psoriasis or wound healing. I'll put some links to research articles if you want to read more about that in the description below. I've also got another video that goes a little bit more in depth into the science behind it. But for this video, I want to share a little bit of a how-to as to how to use low-level laser therapy at home. This one is the WellU handheld laser device. It combines both red light therapy with TENS or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And so it's particularly good for helping with a variety of pain conditions. Now I will give an honest review because there are some things that I really like about this product. There are also some things that I really don't. So first of all, here's how you use it. You turn it on with the power switch right here. It'll click on and then you can choose your time, the intensity of red light, and you just click it and turn on to one, two, or three. That's low, medium, or high or check how much tens you want, one, two, or three. Again, that's low, medium, and high. Then you'd click the power button again, and that will turn it on. Now you don't want to look directly into the red lights, so it does come with some glasses if you're going to be using it on your face or anywhere where you may be looking into the red light for a period of time. Now note that there are six red light diodes on here and six infrared diodes on here. You may only see six, and that's because infrared is actually outside of the visible spectrum. This particular one comes with wavelengths of 650 nanometers, and just for reference, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. So these are really small wavelengths, even though they're considered longer wavelengths. And then the infrared is 808 nanometers, and the infrared spectrum runs from 750 nanometers to 2500 nanometers. Now, as far as how much time you would need to use this for, it's based on dosage. And it really depends on what type of condition that you're treating for deeper tissues like deeper muscle problems or lower back problems, you will need a higher dosage. Research shows around six to 12 joules is ideal for deeper problems. For more superficial problems like tendinopathies, you may only need three to 10, or for skin conditions, you may only need three to six joules per centimeter squared. Now you can get that in a fairly short time. This one does go up to a maximum wattage of 930 milliwatts, which means it delivers 930 millijoules in one second. I'll do the math for you basically to get six 
joules per centimeter squared for deeper tissues, it takes about a minute. To get up to 12, the higher end of that, it takes about two minutes if you have it on the maximum power output. Now that's the maximum setting, so you may want to use a little bit longer than that. This one does actually come with a guide for different conditions, and that's one of the things that I really like about it as well. I'll open up the box here and show you what's inside. So it does have this guide, and I like this guide quite a bit, more than most guides that come with products like these. It gives you just a little background as to how red light therapy works. It uh, gives you an introduction to it. It shows you some different conditions that it can be used for. And the thing that I really like about it is that it gives you parameters for different conditions. How much, how long, how often. Now, I'm not certain that the 20 minutes that they cite on here is absolutely necessary for each different type of condition. They say it should be used for 20 minutes or longer. I'm not sure what intensity that's at. But for frequency, they're saying twice per day. For certain conditions, it ranges from five days to seven days. And then they suggest two, three, or four courses of treatment depending on the condition you're dealing with. So you might do for say seven days and then rest for two days and then another seven days. So keep in mind this is dose intensive and that's why I'm a big fan of using these things at home rather than going to a PT or a chiropractic clinic. And I do have a PT clinic so I could probably make a lot more by selling these sessions but honestly I think it's much better for people to do them at home because it's more convenient, you can get the dosage more often and ultimately that'll probably result in better results. Now this also, like I said, has a TENS setting on it and TENS is basically like the tingly pins and needles feeling you get when someone puts an electrical device on you at a PT or a chiropractor. I don't particularly care for that setting on here. I've used it on here and when I put the TENS on, I just feel like it's burning my skin. Now they do recommend that you use a cream in the instruction manual. I tend to think that's an electroconductive gel, like ultrasound gel that they might use if you are going to a physical therapist and getting an ultrasound. That does help conduct the current a little bit better, but I'm honestly not a big fan of the TENS. I think the red light is enough value on its own, so I just tend to leave the TENS setting off completely when I use it. It also comes with a band and a holder, so you can just strap it on and leave it somewhere for a period of time so you can have your hands free and go do other stuff and go about your day. It does have a pretty long battery life, but it comes with a charging stand. You just recharge with the USB cable. So those were the features of the WellU handheld laser device. If you would like to check one out, check out the links in the video below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos.